Motilal Banaras Das Publishing House. And I'm very pleased that Priya Ji approached us for this book. It's a very crucial time in history at this point because as we know Bangladesh is going through a lot of turmoil now. I have read Priya Ji's uh, other books as well. Uh, he is of course uh, a wonderful writer. For any country, any civilization, any community, unless you are connected to your roots, if you, you lose that touch, in future you will, you will go nowhere. Right? But we cannot say that since the inception of Bangladesh, everything went very well. Good afternoon. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, uh, very warm greetings to the panelists, Mr. Bola and Mr. Jain. I'm very grateful to the India Project Man for the Good Fair. So today we are uh, jointly to launch our uh, Bangladesh Bhutan uh, Peter. This is written by my co author Abu Sarit, who is from Dhaka, who will not join us. Uh, and my name is Priyati, I'm here from London, UK. And so I would just like to do a quick introduction and then we'll make some short observations. My name is Tahir Gora, and I am uh, uh, in contact with my friend uh, uh, Priya Jiji for the past 10-12 uh, years. So, uh, is it okay? Can you hear me? Okay. So, uh, today we are celebrating uh, and uh, uh, inaugurating the Priya Jiji work. Bangladesh and Britain. And uh, yes, now I can hear myself pretty well. <laughs> so please, um, for you to introduce yourself. Hi, this is Varun Jain. I'm the publisher of this book from Motila Banarsidas Publishing House. And I'm very pleased that uh, Priya Ji approached us for this book. And now it's out. So I think this is one of the success stories. So I met Mr. Jain last year in the Frankfurt Book Fair. And since that day or that meeting we have in Bok so I'm very happy that the book has come out and uh, we are discussing it. And it's a very crucial time in history at this point because as we know Bangladesh is going through a lot of turmoil now and there is a, a change in the political scenario. But we as uh, free thinkers and neural activists, we need to keep on writing about history and to make sure that the true events which transpired in 1971, of course, there could have been excesses you know, committed by either parties, but uh, those aspects of the book uh, we, we have highlighted in this endeavor. And the critical part of this book is um, after 50 years, which is in 2021, uh, post-COVID, there was a fire on 1971 East Pakistan in the British Foreign Office and uh, under the cabinet section. So I approached the Foreign Commonwealth Office of England and, and I submitted a series of uh, freedom of information uh, requests to declassify those files. Uh, since then, uh, I have been given some of it and this book is based on that, that how after the uh, independence of Bangladesh the global world powers like UK, US, Canada, Australia, uh, the other European Union parties uh, played uh, you know their power politics and eventually Bangladesh got recognized. So it's a very interesting piece of history which we have uh, brought out in this book. Uh, I have read Priya Jeet's uh, uh, other books as well. Uh, he is, of course, uh, a wonderful writer. He really does uh, um, thorough research, uh, whatever he has published so far. Um, the book we are talking today, Bangabandhu, Bangladesh and Britain, I'm just thinking while sitting here in Frankfurt uh, Book Fair, that Priyajit uh, may write another book is called uh, Bangabandhu, Bangladesh and Germany, in fact. Because Germany is the country that saved 
Sheikh Majibur Rahman's both daughters. Otherwise, uh, uh, I mean, it was uh, uh, impossible uh, to to observe the legacy of uh, Sheikh Majibur Rahman family. But unfortunately, um, it is very sad part of the history. And unfortunately, um, when I look into Bangladesh. Bangladeshis are Bengalis, but the people who first and foremost put the idea of creation of Pakistan forward. Uh, at the, that, uh, in 1940, Mr. Sir Fazlihan, he, he sort of prescribed the Pakistan idea. And uh, he is the reason, unfortunately, for amputation of India, I must say. So, anyhow, Pakistan got created in 1947, got carved out, out of uh, India. And uh, then Bengalis, with the passage of time, first experienced that the Urdu was about to enforce on them in 1950s, early 1950s. And today, if we, uh, if we uh, recall, United Nations uh, celebrates uh, World Mother Tongue Day on every uh, 21st of February. And this is the reason when Urdu and Punjabi army invaded Dhaka University and killed few students. So those are the deep rooted causes we need to remember while reading uh, Priyajitji's this very important book. And uh, then moving forward, we saw in early 70s Pakistan Army's uh, genocide in uh, at that time, East Pakistan. And uh, then Sheikh Mujibur Rahman got a wake up call because he, he was with Pakistan initially as well. Then he learned the lesson and he realized that this quote unquote Pakistani army is going to kill millions of bodies. And by that time, he realized this, about 1 million to 2 million in between, Bengalis got butchered by Pakistan. And uh, there are so many sad stories associated with with those. And I remember once I, I was in Bangladesh Day event in Toronto, in Canada, some Bangladeshi friends approached me and said, uh, Mr. Gora, uh, Punjabis actually killed uh, Bengalis. I said, being Punjabi, I extend my apology. But remember, Punjabis were not the ones who created Bangladesh. Bangladesh was created by Bengalis and Punjabis got slaughtered. Sikhs, Punjabi Sikhs, Punjabi Hindus, Punjabi Christians, Punjabi Muslims, they got slaughtered in 1947. And the idea of Pakistan was from Sir Fazlehan. And then moving forward, we see the massacre of Bengalis in the hands of Pakistan army in 1970s. And then the Prime Minister of India, Ms. Indira Gandhi, helped Sheikh Majibur Rahman and team to carve out their country, what we call today Bangladesh. As we are sitting on this stage, it is very difficult to, pay, to show this book in our hand because now Bangladesh, unfortunately, is in the hands of extremists again. But we cannot say that since the inception of Bangladesh, everything went very well. 
in 1971 bangladesh was created but in 1974 sheikh mujibur rahman unfortunately but along with his family got killed by bangladeshi army at that time and those were the two daughters who were able to save their lives lives because they were in germany so that's why i'm saying that priya ji needs to uh, write a small book on uh, sheikh mujibur rahman bangladesh and germany in fact while sitting in germany we can um, we can say this so anyhow uh, moving forward uh, uh, i would say that uh, it's a very tragic situation in bangladesh at the moment and bangladesh uh, experienced uh, severe turmoil since its inception it's not new to go bangladesh and especially i feel sorry for bengali hindus who were the main architect of that independent country but now bengali hindus are under severe persecution by those extremists and this is not the first time bengali hindus are going through this um, situation bengali hindus had always tough time in bangladesh at the time of Bang- uh, creation of bangladesh uh, they were in 24 25% uh, population of bangladesh today they are hardly 78% so these are the hard challenges and uh, uh, we must ask the german government we must ask international community to help uh, bengali hindus uh, so that they can save their lives and uh, i i congratulate uh, you uh, priya ji and ji on writing such a wonderful book but uh, uh, you need to write couple more books in fact because things are changing so fast and so radically in this situation uh, we need to create an awareness at international level we need to uh, write more and more books uh, and we need to raise voice for bengali hindus they are really really in, in deep trouble so um, simultaneously i'm congratulating but at the same time i ask and i expect you to write more and more thank you very much for having me in this panel and to now we uh, ask our publisher to say a few words few copies have come of this book and you can grab it from our stall all number 6.1 e60 happy reading so i i think we probably come to a close of this event so as mr bora mentioned that of course yes we are trying to explore other um, situations or atrocities you know violations whichever way you wish to nominate nominate to them but and the, the fact of the matter is that and somebody here pointed out earlier on if you see uh, the guest of honor in frankfurt is italy and their tagline is the roots are your future so um, for any country any civilization any community unless you are connected to your roots if you, you lose that touch in future you will you will go nowhere and i think this is the way this is where me and my uh, co-author mr said from dhaka we are working to connect or to make that connection of the roots so whatever happened in 1971 has to be remembered it has it could not be forgotten even though there will be uh, instances where it might be challenged but uh, as members of the civil society and free thinkers it is our responsibility to become as they say the voice of the voiceless and present it to the global community and especially as uh, frankfurt book fair is the biggest book fair is more than 400 years so it's got a long tradition so raising something of that stature here in frankfurt uh, of course i think it uh, it again reinforces the way uh, 
not only us, but hello for Europe and globally people look at Bangladesh, uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, 1979. So that is what I would like to say. So we are happy to take any questions or I think we will close this seminar. Thank you. So my question is, are you planning to have it audible of this book? Because uh, how much do you think in the age of AI, book is still relevant and powerful uh, mean of uh, communicating, first. And second, um, how much do you think the facts of history which you are talking in this book are uh, you think uh, going to be helpful for the people to get educated about the whole thing? So I'll answer the second part because the different versions and all the rights is with the gentleman here on the right hand side, so he can answer that way. But yes, um, Whatever we have written is all documented and we have referenced it in our book and these are all from very credible and reliable uh, references, predominantly from the British Parliament, the British Library and some online records which have relied on from the United States and Canada. But uh, yes, so everything is cross-referenced and verified so I'm happy to take any questions but I have done the research and I have got enough evidence to back it up. Thank you. We are working on producing the audiobook of this book and I think uh, within a few months it will be out. Jeep had an operation of his book here in Indian Enclave in Frankfurt Book Fair where he described the deep in research and the work regarding Bangladesh. So it was very, very thoughtful talk and the writer explained about his research work, his deep understanding and his suggestions towards the betterment of the understanding of historical background of Bangladesh.